Ooh. Hello and welcome to episode two of Good Game Well Played. My name is Hingis and this is SO2EO2. Yeah! This is the ABC's only show about competitive video games and the nerds who play them. Today on the show, we are sinking our teeth into the competitive side of Street Fighter V with a real life pro. But first, let's take a look at the news. And we start with possible TF2 comeback news. Valve's legacy team shooter is set to get competitive matchmaking eight and a half years after its initial release. Developers announced their plans for this feature while speaking to The Daily Dot in April of last year, and last month announced on Reddit that they have started a Steam group for the beta. According to a post this week in said group, beta keys will be distributed to flagged accounts that purchased TF2 before June 23, 2011, or have made premium code purchases from the Manco store. Users will also have to have a Steam Mobile Authenticator enabled and a phone number linked with their Steam account. TF2, seen by some as a casual shooter, has remained extremely popular on Steam, almost always in Steam's top five games being played. It also has a subsidiary community of very committed competitive players who play specific 6v6 and Highlander formats. Competitive matchmaking is seen by many as a way to bridge the gap between the casual and competitive scenes, and could also be a reaction to the upcoming release of Blizzard's team shooter, Overwatch. And to CSGO news, Mongolian Counter-Strike team The Mongols have been denied visas to the States mere days before they were supposed to compete in the MLG Columbus qualifiers. The Mongols reapplied for visas with MLG Executive Vice President Adam Apicella, username MLG Adam App, saying on Reddit, Our Ohio Congressional Representative Office has called their embassy. We have supplied them forms and we have worked very hard to help them with anything they need. However, in the end, the Mongolian team were rejected three times. The Mongols posted a photo of the rejection letter from the US Embassy they received on Twitter, which in part reads, you have not demonstrated that you have the ties that will compel you to return to your home country after your travel to the United States. The Mongols beat Australian team Renegades at IEM Taipei at the start of the month to qualify for the qualifiers. At the time of writing, it is not known who, if anyone, will replace the Mongols this weekend. Will it be our little battlers? Who knows? I don't. And in Cash Money Dollars news, Microsoft have announced the prize pool for the 2016 Halo World Championship. The whopping $2.5 million US loot bag is the largest prize pool for an FPS tournament ever and would be the seventh largest in esports history. Australia will be represented at the March meet in Hollywood by Team Immunity, who won the Australian qualifier earlier this month. And in Hearthstone news, Curse Trials wrapped up this week. The online tournament was the first to implement the standard format rules since Blizzard announced the changes to its competitive scene. The new format only allows cards released in the current or the previous calendar years to be used in tournament play, which means for now that cards from the Curse of Naxxramas and Goblins vs Gnome sets are unplayable in standard. The best of five Curse Trials final was between Thieves from the Netherlands and Savies out of Finland and saw Thieves go ahead 2-0 in the series before Savies fought back, tying the series up 2-all going into the final game, which was Dragons, Dragons, Dragons! Thieves' Control Warrior faced off against Savies' Control Priest and took an early life lead before Savies seemed to wrestle Control back in the match from him in the mid-game. Turn 10 saw Thies play his Varian Rin, which randomly summoned a 9-mana Ysera, forcing Savis to kill his own Sylvanas, hoping to take control of Ysera. Instead, Sylvanas charmed Varian, who was then promptly sent to Savis's hand. Savis re-summoned Varian, which randomly summoned his own Ysera. Thies then managed to clear most of the board with an Awakening, and then the next turn summoned an Onyxia, which was bounced to his hand only to be re-summoned, packing the board with Whelps for a second time. The board ended up with Savis controlling two Yseras, both drawing dream cards, but Thieves top decked a bash, allowing him to get Savis's life low enough for fatigue damage to finish it off. The marathon series ended 3-2, with Thieves taking home the $12,500 first place prize. And finally, in Street Fighter V news, the release of the new game has caused record sign-ups at the world's largest fighting game tournament, the EVO World Championship Series. In a tweet posted early this week, EVO announced, in four days, Street Fighter V has broken the record for the most entrants at EVO in a single game. Tournament organizers did not provide specific numbers. However, EVO 2015 Street Fighter IV Ultra event was the largest pool of contestants in the event's 14 year history with 2,227 participants. EVO 2016 is slated to take place in July in Las Vegas. All right, that's it for the news, but look, a new challenge approaches. <laughs> and it's Henry Gangster Sham from Oz Hadoo. 
We're now joined by Gangster from Oz Hadoo. Henry, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you very much for having me. Now, you've competed both domestically and internationally in fighting games. Uh, why don't you run through what are the big changes between Street Fighter 4 and 5 in terms of a hardcore competitive scene? The, the games differ quite a lot, I feel. Uh, Street Fighter 4, we would call it more of a combo game yeah, than a setup game. Sort of long strings long combos. of combos that did massive amounts of damage. Yeah, so Street Fighter 4 has mechanics that um, allow you to extend combos quite far, whereas in Street Fighter V, now combos are shorter, they still do a lot of damage, so Capcom have made that a bit easier for new players to, to come in. Oh, I can do a lot of damage with just uh, less, less buttons and, and less execution. Uh, so the entry barrier for Street Fighter V is a bit lower than Street mm. Fighter 4, I feel. Do you think we'll see much of a change in who the top tier players are? Uh, uh, between the players or characters? Uh, players. Players. Um, if anything, a lot of the old players that didn't do as well in Street Fighter 4 mm -hmm. will do better in this game. Right. Because this game uh, is very, very akin to the older Street Fighter games and right. how they're played. Um, the game is more fast paced. Uh, it's more about uh, what we call footsies, mm -hmm. which is uh, zoning. Mm -hmm. So finding the, the sweet spot for your character at the same time, getting out of the sweet spot of the opponent's character. Mm -hmm. And it's a very footsie heavy game in Street Fighter 5 where um, older players will find that uh, like second nature to them, because yeah. that's how the old Street Fighter games were played. All right, well, I think what everyone wants to watch is for uh, you to just absolutely score me at this game. Let's hit into versus mode, shall we? Uh, random stage. Let's go Chun-Li versus Ken. Chun-Li, Ken. Let's begin. Alright, let's take right. this. Fight! Oh. No! <laughs> this is deeply unfair. Yes! Oh, you're doing alright. <laughs> oh, whoops. That's tactics. me. That's me tactics. Tactics. That's me tactics. <laughs> would that, would that in, uh, incur a penalty if I did that? Yes. In, uh, okay. So you get a warning if, if that happens again. Right. Um, you lose the round of the game depending on the point. He got me in the corner! No! So I'd say I did maybe, what would we say, like 8% damage to you probably there? I mean 9% damage? That's being generous, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair, that's fair. I did it! Okay, round two, you ready? Yep, this is it. This is the king of all comebacks. All right. Let's do this! Evo Grand Finals. Yeah. <laughs> Best of three. Oh, my goodness. Again, with the cheating. Sorry, this is... I might have to DQ you. Yeah, this is uh, deeply upsetting. All right. Okay. Good. Is there... Uh, should I be working on trying to block your combos as well? Uh, when I teach someone new, I tell them that you must be able to perform your special moves uh, on command. Right. At any given time. Practice your specials like 100 times in a row. Right, okay. And make sure you don't miss. If you miss, start again. And count up to 100. And do it's it like it learning again. a musical instrument. Yeah, it is, it yeah. is. Because... You want it to be muscle memory. It's like riding a bike. Once you know how to do a fireball motion, yeah. you're never going to forget it. Mm. And you're going to get it 99.9% of the time. Yeah. And then fall off your bike sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of a seven hit combo there. It was a right. the count. Right. I'm going to wait for you to do Whoa. Oh no. I'm to do something dumb. Like and this? Is this dumb? Oh, that is pretty dumb. You blocked it all. And there you go. So. That's a really strong attack, but it's also very, very punishable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It. As is uh, evident by me getting uh, burnt. Uh, in the face. Yes. <laughs> good job getting the super to come out, though. That's uh, that's a good start. A lot of players can't even manage to do that, to be honest. Well, I'm gonna be. Uh, you see me at Evo 2016, I reckon. No I'll worries. Get see on you this there. tour. <laughs> Can win. Good game, man. Uh, well, Henry, thank you so much for coming in and schooling me at Street Fighter. It was my pleasure. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Oz Hadoo are hosting their first Street Fighter V major event this weekend in Sydney. They'll also be playing Virtual Fighter V, Final Showdown and MKX. If you're interested in that kind of fighting game community event, you can find out more details at their website, ozhadoo.net. Thanks to everyone who said kind words about our return for 2016 and also to the one Korean guy who seemed very upset that I was pronouncing Babung Babung's name Babung Babung. At this point, I'm just going to double down and pronounce all the extra double Bs because that's how it's written. Let us know on social media what you see in the future of Street Fighter V's competitive scene. Or as always, you can try and guess my email address. Until next week, hang us out.
See ya!